I've arrived at Newman's Bottom, at least at the gate, where they have been improving the road. I was relieved to see the gate is open, and the road actually does look quite good. I'm going to go the rest of the way down and try to film a little bit more of it. Uh, that's what the road looks like down here. They have definitely improved it. We'll be able to come down here even after it rains a little bit. It used to be they'd close the road as soon as it rained just a little bit. They'd have to... You can see it's pretty well improved. They raised it up probably a foot maybe. Cleared out both sides. Got good ditches. Now you can at least get two cars wide. That'll sure help if it ever rains again and the creek comes up and the fish come up in the creek this spring. Now we're coming up on the parking area. Well, they've really improved this parking lot. They brought in a lot more gravel in here. There's the creek right there. That's the road that leads back. This looks really nice. They have fixed this up real nice. It's going to be great all winter coming back here. This is a nice access area. First thing you come to on the trailway is the bridge. This is where it basically crosses over. If you go on that side and down that trail, that takes you to Birch Creek. If you come this way and take that trail on around that way, it ends up at Nails Creek. Uh, it's, this is the halfway point on the Somerville Trailway. Uh, as you can see, there's still water in the creek and it's flowing. Beautiful too, clear. Actually, that's more water than I thought there'd be. All the other creeks are bone dry. That looks pretty. A little bit of trash in there, but that's the norm, unfortunately. It's fairly deep. I've never seen that dry. I'm not going to go upstream. I'm actually going to explore a little bit more today than anything else. Like I said, I'm here to explore explore the air territory on this side. I don't go down this side very often, so I'm going to go across the flats and go down the creek until I find where it crosses. So, look at all the bobbers in that tree. <laughs> Some people don't know how to cast very well. Here we go. This gives you a real good idea how much water is flowing through the creek. It's a lot more than I expected. It's not near enough to bring any fish up, but it's keeping the lake from dropping too quick. This gives you some indication of how dry it is. Normally in, in a normal year, this has got water in it. All these are sloughs. Oh, there's a deer right there. Look at that. There's a little buck right there. He didn't. He didn't run away. What was wrong with that deer? There's a little buck. How about that? <laughs> Wonder how long it's gonna be before he gets up and runs away. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna see when you get out in the woods. That'll be the highlight of the trip. That's a nice little buck. Probably not quite a legal shooter. He doesn't think I see him. He's only 20 feet away from me, I guess. Nah, it's about 40 feet. Sitting there as quiet as can be. There you get a little better look at him. How's that? He's just snapping. I'm probably disturbing his nap. That's when it's nice to have a really high quality camera. I guess he ain't gonna go nowhere. Look how well camouflaged he is. 
He didn't move, you'd never see him. He's probably wore out from the rut. Man, I'm surprised he's not moving. He doesn't look sick. <laughs> he's watching me though. A little eight point, I guess. Eight or seven. Recording. Trying to get downwind of me. I guess he can't figure out what I am. Nice little buck. He's actually not a legal shooter. His antlers aren't outside of his ears. But that's very unusual to get this close to one. He doesn't even care that I'm here. About a two year old deer, I guess, maybe three. Young and be a good deer next year. They are absolutely wore out from the rut. Away he goes. Off to parts unknown. I wish I was a foot taller. You can see over top of this stuff, but it's all six foot tall. There's his tail. It's an armadillo. He's fixing to go in his hole. You ever seen an armadillo tail look like that? Watch him. He's fixing to go jump in there. He's just about ready to go in there. I think I ought to grab his tail and pull him out. <laughs> that is a big armadillo. If he goes in there the rest of the way. Dude. There he goes. Down in the hole. Alright buddy, I'll leave you alone. He's snug as a bug in a rug. He's digging it out a little bit. That's an armadillo hole. Got armadillo in it. Probably some snakes too. Hear him digging? Pretty cool.